on point I can get wound up too easily I wanna reach those goals But I can get so old When the road looks bleak in front of me So no more hating, no more frustrating Cause I can only do my best, it's all I can do I'll take those lows, they'll come, I know Cause sometimes it don't always work the way you want to But what it is, you gotta learn to handle it When you fall and when you stumble Just keep it tight, come on, hold your head up high Don't despair, cause you won't crumble It's the way it is, you gotta learn to handle it When you fall and when you stumble Show and we are with uh, Sebastian today. Uh, the next couple of things we want to cover are first of all the things that are kind of unique to Magia. I realize we kind of diverge. Oh, you want to do them? In, uh, do you, no, yeah, do you yeah. unique to Magia. Um, well, I, I thought we should mention the things specific to uh, Magia, and I'll tell you why. Because when we had John Bacon on to speak about the uh, Ubuntu project or Ubuntu distribution. One of the things we spoke about almost the whole show was things like Unity, and people would ask, well, "Why would you do that? You know, it's more." I think because oh, I see, right, yeah, destroys the very unique components of it. And I, I'm know, a dear, I, I mean, I'm I'm not a founder and I'm not a developer. I just, I'm just really somebody who wants to do community yeah. stuff for my dear. So I've got I've got IRC channels. I've got um, I, well, I started off with a my a bit like a bunch of it. I started off with a. I still got it. It's on low on free node, and you obviously had the number signed before, whatever it is. But yeah, Magia UK, hyphen UK, and I started off with that thinking like, wouldn't it be fun? I could do like a if I get enough of user base, I could maybe do like a, a Magia UK users community, and yeah. and um and do like like this like they do, and have install fest and release parties possibly in the future, and that kind of thing. And then got some UK people in it, but not really that many so far. And well, it's then a very uh, small group of uh, yes, yes. Com- compared to a company that's got a lot of PR badge. Too. Yes, actually, it's not really it doesn't really have the use base. But I mean, just look yet, at the uh, you know so new, bo- you know uh, Body Linux and uh, and Mint Mint uh, Linux Mint. These are success stories in the sense they're based in Ubuntu are based. Yeah, they, yeah, it's they, they're doing extremely well. Body Linux is developed by one single person who's not even a developer. He's kind of trying to be. He's, he's a student in the university, I, um, and he got over over a hundred thousand downloads of distros just upon the release, like you know, within months of just starting to work on it. So you, you can see that even small groups can just get the momentum. And once it's going, and once people use your distros, they start writing reviews, and their friends want to test it as well. So yeah, so uh, I, Linux yeah. Mint. Um, I, I do I do occasionally more. More recently, I mean, I lost my name twice on that network because I didn't uh, sign back in in time. But uh, I'm, I'm more recently sometimes on the Mint network, and I I'm helping people with Mint. Only only sometimes, occasionally, because it's about, it's about as close as I want to get to doing Ubuntu support again. Because I used to, I mean, I might just before a new release and a bit after just to try it out what it'd be like. Because I used to help a lot in the big Ubuntu channel. And yeah. people in pirate message and some for hours and that kind of thing. From in a period of like, sort of like, um, sort 
sort of like July 2008 to sort of like October 2010 or something like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I helped a lot of people with Ubuntu. And uh, obviously I want to do it for and I, other distributions. Like, and I tend to hang out in the channels for distributions that I like enough. So so that's obviously my Geo at the moment. I'm uh, not quite joining Mandriva as much as I used to, their channel, but sometimes I will. Well, if you use them in Driva uh, and you are, uh, well, I'm on of, the... you are also joining the channel when you install a certain, uh, uh, I know it, it happens with XChat, so you will, yeah, yeah. yeah it, I mean, mo- most distros do that. All the... Yeah, Mint did it as well, but in the XChat there, but yeah, they, in Ubuntu though, and they try and get you into their channels, but anyway, I, and I'll go to the PC Linux OS channel sometimes. So I ran PC Linux OS. I was trying it out between sort of like, uh, sort of December, November 2010 to like, uh, I think it was like March or something. I had it about five months on my computer. A few little issues, but quite, quite a nice distribution. Also, a long time ago it was based on, well, they forked it from Mandrake, which is the old, uh, former name for Mandriva. For those who don't know, and they think they forked it in 2003, but now more recently they have building release, and you get all the the updates are from people when they're stable enough, and they've been they're not been in the bus to get GNOME free in there, but they're gonna actually the idea is that they're gonna actually provide both GNOME free and GNOME 2, and let users switch between and let, let them have both, which I think is very interesting. And I think any distribution that is doing that has an has an advantage really of, of any other distribution that is only piling one of them. Mm-hmm. So that's good that PC Links are going to be doing that. And I think it's proper GNOME 3, not, I mean, a uh, GNOME 2, not a fork. I mean, it'd be meaning that's sort of fork, but, you know, and there was a rumor that it would be some fork and whatever, but I think it's proper GNOME 2. So that's good that PC Links are going to be providing both GNOME 2 and GNOME 3. And so, yeah, sometimes you see PC Links are OS channels, but they're not, they don't really have that many people there because they're more of a, uh, form support community where most people go to the form for support yeah. and um, then I go to Unity Linux because I like I like people in that channel yeah. and and then I've got my Madia hyphen social channel which I'm building up mm-hmm. and I would I would really like if anyone if any of <laughs> if any of you who are listening to this would like to come to my channel uh, uh Please feel free to do so. Um, my dear, hyphen social on on Freenode, mm-hmm. and it's the like. Well, all these most these distributions have their like social channel where people talk. I about think social. The, the, the thing it was right in my case because I, we have a uh, social yeah. channel as well. I think it was. Yeah, the, I know. I know. I asked. I asked you about that. Around yeah, I think so. it came from Fedora. Yeah, so, yeah. The, I'm person, really saying uh, the person persuaded me to create this channel. Uh, was part of the Fedora channels, and I knew that they, they used the word social to try and imply if you don't want to talk about technical issues, but you still want to chat, there is yeah. a social place. Because uh, I think there used to be channels called things like Off Topic and all kinds of words. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of Off Topic, that's their, their one. Yeah, which kind of implies that you're doing something you're not supposed to. Oh, that's Off Topic. Well, you might yeah, and, then, and there's an unofficial one as well, the Club Ubuntu, which is... Um, and they had a bit of a problem between the official channel and the the unofficial channel, I think, because the, the woman who, I'm not sure exactly, but I think the woman who started Club Ubuntu kept on nicking people from off topic and they didn't like it, so that's a bit of a problem there. But anyway, so, yeah, uh, Mad, Mad Gia Social, hyphen social on Freenode. And so I'm doing that. I've got my, I should, I've got my channels and I, 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 if anyone looks on Identica, I'm always, I, I dent a lot about my, my gear or message, if you like, and about my gear. So, like, identity, identity.cast slash group slash my gear. Mm-hmm. And identity.cast slash tag slash my gear. And you can actually subscribe to tags now after this new status net. It's one of the new features, actually. Which is kind of good because yeah. I, w- I kept on looking at the tag as well. Yeah, we were going to mention something about the, uh, 